everybody welcome back to let's talk this is me meera your trainer for the day well today i have got something for you which is here for a reason i'll tell you why a few days ago we did a lesson uh, where we spoke about and we understood how to answer how are you in different ways so instead of saying i'm fine thank you what all can you say and thank you to all of you i got a great love and great support for the video and i went through your comments so don't blame me that i don't this video and this topic was highly requested on that video which is basically how to ask how are you in different ways in case if you haven't seen that video there will be a link somewhere right up here so you can go through that but let's see what is in store for today without further ado let's begin all right so different ways to ask and say how are you of course a term that we use and a question that we use on a daily basis but there are times when we are in a great mood and we need to ask it in a very different way in a quirky way probably being naughty or being fun being informal with a friend and that is why you can ask it in so many different ways can you believe it well let's get started okay the first one is hola what's new now you would say if i am saying hola why is there an h there well h is silent and hola is basically a spanish word to say hey or hi so you can start with hola what's new i'll tell you what i really really um really like and adore people who can speak in different languages maybe you cannot speak different languages but you can always learn new words such as hi how are you thank you and sorry or maybe have a good day and you can actually use it in your daily life hola what's new that means i'm asking you hey what's new with you and you would be equally excited to answer instead of me just asking you hey how are you hola what's new is so much more exciting right well quickly moving on to the next one how do you do now this particular question is a very cowboyish way to ask someone how are you and of course it's informal but it's fine to be informal sometimes well you can use it with your friends and your family right or you can type it in a message or record a voice message and send it to someone how do you do is basically nothing but how are you doing right and it's a little short sweet and so much more fun to answer howdy doody right okay moving on to what on earth are you up to don't you have friends who suddenly vanish out of nowhere so one day you're just messaging them one day you're like let's make a plan let's go for a coffee and they're gone for a week right and you're thinking to yourself what on earth is this person up to well there you go that's how you can ask someone how are you doing when you can directly ask them what on earth are you up to which means tell me what have you been doing and what is happening with you that you're suddenly vanished in the air right so that's another way to ask how are you in general right moving on what new ideas are giving you energy well now this one can also be a very formal in a formal conversation as well as informal conversation it's a different you're just being creative even in a formal environment where what new ideas are giving you energy don't you have people in your office and probably um, in your college who are really hard working people and are always smiling and there there's something on their mind right so these are the people these are the people you can always ask hey what ideas are giving you energy like why are you so energetic all the time that there's definitely an idea in his or her head that's giving them that energy so go ahead guys ask people who are that energetic that hey 
what new ideas are giving you so much energy. So people could say, you know what, I started this great workout. You know what, I've started this Zumba class. Do you know what, I've started a new business, right? So a great and a creative question will always give you an amazing and, and a much more creative answer. So go ahead and ask someone this question. Well, moving on, bonjour Nancy, good to see you. Well, now I, you'll ask me, why is there no question mark out there? But guess what? Bonjour itself. Now, this is another French word. Like I said, I really love using different languages when I talk to people. And I take, I take a lot of efforts in learning. Well, bonjour means hi or hello in French. Well, this was Spanish. And this is French. And Nancy is a name, okay? So when you ask bonjour, you're basically asking and saying, hi, how are you? And you're adding the word Nancy to it. And then you're just pleasantly smiling and saying, good to see you, Nancy. And it is such a sweet way of greeting someone. Now, again, this can also be formal. Um, using a different language at a workplace is not that big a problem. So go ahead and use different languages in your conversations. Of course, something that is much more commonly used and understood. Okay, moving on to what's cooking, good looking. I know, I know, you are saying that, hey, that's not correct grammar. The spelling is not complete as well. But guess what? You don't always have to be formally asking anyone, how are you doing? And that is exactly what this lesson is for, right? I know. So what's cooking good looking is a very, very stylish, a very informal way of talking to your friends and asking your friends and family of what's happening. Well, sometimes you can also mean it when you probably have a crush on someone. But other than that, you're asking someone what's cooking as in what's happening. Okay, so what's cooking as in what's happening. And good looking is nothing but a sweet compliment, which, will, which anyone would feel good about, right? So go ahead and ask someone at a party or um, probably your college, but remember to be very, very subtle. Don't be all creepy and ask someone, um, what's cooking good looking? You might just get slapped. <gasps> Don't do that, right? So be nice and you can ask this question only when you ask it with a nice smile. And moving on from here, we have what are you up to these days? Well, this is very simple, a very basic question. But when you ask this question, some people might feel that you're actually interested in knowing something from them. And you're not just asking for the sake of it, for the heck of it. And sometimes it is more believable when you ask, what are you up to these days? Right? So they can tell you, um, so right from their work, to probably their personal lives, they can share so much with you, right? So you can always ask, what are you up to these days? Which means they will end up answering about their lives, maybe the movies that they have seen, maybe a hotel that they um, recently visited and had food, and then you can continue the conversation from there on, okay? Quickly moving on, what's the excitement about? Again, you are going to find hyper energetic and hyper excited people around you and they could be your friends or your acquaintances, right? So you can always ask them, hey, what's the excitement about? You know, why? that means why are you so happy? What's the smile about? Why are you so sparkling and why are you so jumping around everywhere? Well, they would end up telling you probably that, you know what, I'm so excited for this movie. It could be as simple as that. Or it could be that um, they're going on a trip very soon or maybe Christmas is coming or maybe winter is coming. The excitement could be for anything. But when you ask a creative question, you get a creative answer. And that's why you can ask this question, guys. Quickly moving on. Why the glow? Well, you can add a lot of adjectives to this word. So you can ask why the glow? Why the smile? Um, why the smirk? Why the face, right? So isn't that a short form what you use in your WhatsApp messages? But why the glow as in, you could actually find some people um, smiling for no reason sometimes or uh, just being happy for no reason. 
it could be anything. I mean, for real, they could be in love. But you can always be the sweet person and ask them why the glow. So it could be anything, right? What do you think? Why do you glow sometimes? Just because you're smiling, right? So you can always replace the word glow with smile or smile with glow. And you can make your boring question so much more interesting by just asking it in such a short and a simple way. Well, moving on from there, we have the last line for today and the last question for today, which is, looks like a good tan. Where have you been? So again, another grammatical way of asking where have. Where plus have. Where have you been? A good tan is basically um, a, a, a different color on skin. Right? Um, usually, when do people get a tan? People get a tan when they go and they're probably relaxing on a beach one day or for two days and they have uh, a nice tan on their skin. I really liked a tan skin. Do you? Well, you can ask someone whenever you see a tan that, hey, I can see your tan. I'm sure you have been relaxing on a beach on a weekend. So how was your weekend? This is what you actually want to ask, right? But you can ask it in a very different fashion, which means looks like a good tan. Probably you can wink if that person is your good friend, not if that person is not your friend because that would be creepy. And where have you been? And then you would get to know that have they been on a, uh, to a beach? Have they been relaxing? And what has been happening? And just like that, you can start a great conversation where you can share how was your weekend as well, right? So this is my lesson on how to ask how are you in different ways just so that the conversation is so much more exciting and so much more creative. Now, if you guys have liked any of, the, any of this, go ahead and comment below. I would be watching your comments and looking at your comments. Well, that's all for today, guys. Make sure that you practice, keep smiling, spread a lot of love. This is me, Mira signing off for the day guys. Ciao!